MGO tutorial on Logger Pro. So I've skipped ahead to um, having all our data inputted already. So we've got mass on the y-axis, our length on the x, and I've given the graph a title. And just depending on which class you're in, you might have anywhere between six to nine different data sets because um, some classes were smaller, others were larger, it just depends. Okay, so once you have your numbers put in, just go ahead and uh, go to Analyze and Linear Fit. So there's our slope. And you probably want to just click on this A symbol here. It means Auto Scale. Once you click on that, you just get a better fit for your curve. My slope, okay, is 0 0.015. Okay, which is okay, you're going to get somewhere between 0 0.009 or 0 0.015. That probably just means you're doing it correctly for number 13 on the conclusion. Now, just to help you out with the rest, or like number 14, okay, the slope of the line um, tells you the mass of one centimeter of magnesium. So then you can take that slope and you can do these conversions. Um, so now we want to figure out, for example, 35 centimeters of magnesium ribbon. How much mass would that be? Well, you just take your slope and just multiply by um, 35. Okay, so likewise, like for problems 16 and 17, just make sure you convert those lengths into centimeters and then just multiply by the slope that you found in number 15. Okay, hope that helps. We'll see you in class.